Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another quick tutorial video and today we're going to be talking about field preparation and field cultivation. Alright, so what we've got is a selection of field preparation cultivators. So these there's seven in the base game. So we've got a plow, we've got a regular cultivator, we've got a shallow cultivator, we've got a disc harrow, a power harrow, a subsoiler, and a spader. So I've labelled each each row or each line that we're about to cultivate one through seven just for ease of reference so what we're going to do is we're going to run each of these over the field we're going to see what impact that has on the field and then we're going to run through a couple of days of growth to see what happens in regards to weeds uh, etc all right so our current field state is lime required knee uh, we've got weeds growing um if we just we've harvested some wheat we've mulched and we do have some stones here so from some previous uh, subsoiling okay but basically for all intensive purposes the field is how you would find it essentially straight after harvest so let's jump into the plow and let's get this guy underway so I'm just gonna hire a worker and we'll just observe what happens here so we are plowing with so I should also mention that I've got all the base game settings turned on so plowing is on uh, weeds are on stone is on so I'll quickly jump into the crops and growth menu. So we've got crop destruction on, periodic plowing required, field stone, lime, weeds, uh, and everything else as is. Okay, so that's number one. So I'm just gonna drive him over here. Let's go and have a look at the field. So as you can see, we brought up some small stones, as to be expected. Now, however, when you plow, you should not bring up any weeds, okay? So that's the main benefit to plowing. So when you plow, you won't get any weeds. All right, let's move on to our cultivator, number two. So you can see there we are getting a slightly different ground texture. Looks like we're getting some stones as well. So let's just dismiss this guy. Okay, let's go and check out our field. So we've got some small stones. Still got weeds. Now we're still getting the weeds growing there, but I wonder if because we've ploughed, if we're going to get a change in state when we sleep for one day. So let's get the shallow cultivator, which is number three. So this gives us a stubble tillage field state. So as you can see there, the texture of the ground is a different, different color and pattern to indicate stubble tillage. Okay. Okay, let's get this guy dismissed. So you can see in this one, no stones have come up. However, it is a shallow, uh, a sh more shallow cultivation method as opposed to the cultivating versus the plowing. All right, let's have a look at number four, which is the disc harrow. All right, so let's get this guy underway on a worker. So we can see again, getting that stubble tillage state worker stopped. I'll get this guy positioned over position four so we can remember which is which. Okay so we've got some small stones but I believe they're from a prior. These might be actually medium stones so they might need to be picked up with a rock picker. So I believe they were there prior. Okay just for reference. Right next one we have got the power harrow. So that's this guy just on the back here. So this should also give us the stubble tillage which it does, and we should get small stones. Which I can't see any at the moment. Okay, let's dismiss that guy. Let's go and check out the field. Might be some small stones potentially there. We'll have a look at the uh, soil composition map shortly. Let's move on to subsoiling. So subsoiler will give you a, so you can see the subsoiler there, gives us a stubble tillage uh, pattern. However, what the subsoiler will also do is remove the needs plowing field indicator. So it gives you a plowed state without the plowing appearance, essentially. So you can use it in place of a plow. All right, moving on to the spader. So the spader also functions like a plow. And I believe it gives 
a plowed appearance or close to so it's a somewhat cultivated and these allegedly bring up stones as well which I'm not seeing currently all right let's get this guy dismissed move them forward all right and let's check out the spader so what have we got small stones it looks like unless they're large stones we'll have a look in the UI shortly okay so there's our seven implements in action let's go and have a look at the the map okay so as you can see so plowing we've got a plowed state uh, the cultivator we've got a cultivated state signified in blue the shallow cultivator we've got a uh, what looks to be stubble tillage so one way to check if we turn stubble tillage off turn it back on it's very similar in color to the seed bed however seed beds are lighter blue Okay, so we've got stubble tillage, number three. Number four was the disc harrow. So just moving over. Uh, power, power harrow was number five. Then we had subsoiler. So the subsoiler actually gave us stubble tillage. Okay, although it can be used to remove the needs plowing indicator. Okay, and number seven, the spader has given us a cultivated state. All right, let's check the soil composition map we have brought up small stones in the what looks to be the plowing the cultivating now these stones here where the I believe number f the power harrow or the disc harrow they were already there okay so disregard those and then this beta has brought up small stones also all right let's have a look at each of these individualized we can see the stones there all mulched Field needs lime, plowing is not required, fertilizer is not there yet, and we've got weeds. Okay, so let's turn all those back on. All right, let's go and sleep for one day, and we'll come back in and see what state we're at in terms of weeds. All right, here we are. So one day in, so our control area, so we'll call this our control area. This is the area where we have not um, done any field work. And we can see our, our field, uh, our plowed line has got no weeds in it. If we move on over to the cultivated side, we have small weeds. Uh, moving over to our shallow cultivator, we have no weeds. Okay, that's interesting. So our regular cultivator has brought up weeds and stones, whereas our shallow cultivator has not brought up weeds as yet. Interesting. Okay, disc harrow, so no weeds. Power harrow, no weeds. Subsoiler, well, I'm going to go with no weeds because I think these ones that are verging on the field. Well, unless these are weeds. So no visible weeds. Let's call it that. So I think when the weeds are small, they don't show up visually. However, they'll probably show up in the map. Okay, what are these guys? So this is the spader has weeds and the subsoiler hasn't got weeds. All right, let's check our soil composition map. Okay, let's turn everything off. X, uh, turn mulching off, rolling, lime, plowing, fertilizer. So you can see, basically, cultivator's got weeds. It's a little bit hard to, it's a little bit hard to tell on that view. Anyway, let's go and sleep again and see what happens next cycle. All right, so here we are day two. So we are on our plowed line. So the field itself is sh showing medium weeds. However, our plowed section is not showing any weeds. Okay. Except there are a little bit of overlap, but I think that's just the UI and the visual representation. All right, our cultivated line is jam-packed with weeds. Like quite a lot. Uh, our shallow cultivator still no weeds okay so that's looking like a good option for cultivation our disc harrow no weeds our power power harrow no weeds our subsoiler no weeds and our spader has got bulk weeds okay so it's looking like why would you why would you even bother using the subsoiler because if you're going to get a plowed state 
if you're going to use a regular plow, you're not going to have to deal with weeds. So using a subsoiler at this point seems to be redundant. You'd go the you'd go the subsoiler over the spader straight up. All right. Anyway, let's move on. So let's go and sleep again. All right. Here we are, day three. So we can see our field is jam packed with large weeds. Our plowing plowed section has still got no weeds. Our cultivated field has well, our cultivated section of field has got weeds. Our shallow cultivator is weed free. Our disc harrow is weed free. Power harrow, weed free. Subsoiler, weed free. And spader has bulk weeds. Alright, let's go and sleep again. Alright, here we are, day four, or day three, I believe. Okay, so ploughed is still got no weeds. Uh, adjacent field is large weeds, so we're pretty much maxed out on our weeds at the moment. Cultivated field, field, weeds. Shallow cultivated, still weed free. Uh, what do we got here? Disc harrow, weed free. Power harrow, no weeds. Subsoiler, no weeds. And spader, still got weeds. Okay, let's do one more sleep cycle just to confirm because I don't think the weeds are going to get any bigger because you've only got three stages of weed growth, small, medium and large. So just to make sure. Alright, here we are back for day four or five. I've lost count now, but basically nothing's changed. Large weeds have taken over. Plowing is still clear. Cultivated is full of weeds. Shallow cultivation is weed free. Uh, disc harrow is weed free. Power harrow is weed free, uh, subsoil is weed free, and spader is jam packed. Let's quickly check our weed map. So you can see that there, the green indicates the full size weeds, uh, the sections that are purple, so that's showing up the mulch state, is basically where we've got the. So if I just turn that off, that will show. And I'll turn off lime as well because that's the next required step. So you can see in the brown where there are no weeds. So we've got no weeds on the plowing and they basically line up correctly with our implements. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, let's take a look at each one of these in the tool section of the shop. So we get a better idea of uh, what we're talking about. So in the plows section, we've got the Agrimaz POV X5XL for 16,000. So it'll do 2.5 meters, 12 kph top speed and 160 horsepower tractor requirement. In the cultivators, we've got the Amazon Sieno 4000 Super, so four meter working with 15 kph top speed, 160 horsepower tractor requirement. Now in the same category, we've got the Cockerling all-rounder flatline 600, so 51,000, six meter working with 250 horsepower requirement. Uh, 15 kph top speed. Uh, next one along is the disc harrow. So we've got the Horsch Joker 4 CT for 25 grand, 140 horsepower requirement, 4 meter working width, and 18 kph top speed. Uh, power harrow, I believe we've got the Kun HR 4040 4, to 25,000, 4 meter working width, 160 horsepower, 12 kph top speed. Subsoiler, we've got the Agrisem Combi Plow Gold 3 meter. So that's 8. 1600 to buy 120 horsepower 3 meter working width 12 kph top speed and the spader i believe we've got the uh, the farmax rapid 450 trailed which is this one here now based on the results i would go for a plow or the shallow cultivator or the subsoiler okay Basically, now the only difference between really the cultivator versus the shallow cultivator is these are more expensive. They've got high tractor uh, horsepower requirements, uh, and they're better for better suited for larger working areas. However, the smaller cultivators are cheaper uh, and more accessible early game, depending on your budget. But obviously, based on the results, if you're going to use a cultivator and you wanted to, if you're going to use a cultivator, you'd probably go for any of the shallows. Okay, because obviously they got the highest working widths. So you're going to be able to cover a larger area, shorter time. 
and along with the discs. So the disc arrows, obviously, they go up in size up to. So we've got the Speed Teller 475 KSIH, which is 12.5 meters, but 18 kph top speed. Whereas in the culti shallow cultivators, we've got the Compactomat 1570 Max, which is 500 horsepower requirement, but it'll do 15.7, 15 kph top speed. So that's the major benefit. All right, let's move on. All right, so in, let's just take an aerial shot of what we're, what we're dealing with here. So you can see that. Yeah, look at number two, full of weeds. Three is clear, four is clear, five is clear. 6 is clear and 7 is clear. Okay, so realistically, the spader is pretty much useless, okay? You'd only use it if you just wanted to use a spader because it gives you essentially no benefit over and above a subsoiler or plough in terms of managing weeds, okay? The next one you would probably disregard is the cultivator. So this is if you're playing with weeds on, obviously. So if you're going to use a cultivator, you may as well just use a shallow cultivator or one of the harrows because essentially you are going to get less weeds, okay, as demonstrated here. Uh, the subsoiler, also a good candidate for get, removing your plowed state because obviously you don't get the weeds. However, you do get some stones that you need to deal with. I mean, the only thing you've got to contend with with the plowing, if you've got stones turned on, is to deal with the stones by stone picking. But realistically... I mean, the best way to manage weeds and stones is to turn them off. So if you come into the game settings, turn off field stone, turn off weeds. So we're going to still have the visual, but you can see there the weed growth is not impacting our field. Okay, the stones are just there as a visual reminder. And you can see in our soil composition map, the weeds and the stones have disappeared. So they're no longer an issue for our yield bonus. Okay. So realistically, the best way to deal with weeds is to turn them off. Otherwise, if you want to play with them on, you definitely want to go with plowing, shallow cultivation, or any of the harrows and the subsoil to manage the weeds. Because essentially they won't grow and you don't have to deal with them. And you can just uh, get away with planting stress-free. So, so anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. If it's helped you out, leave a like. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.